Welcome back. Now, we will talk about the experiment itself. First, I want to explain how to use each device in this experiment. First is the circuit box, where you have R450 ohm, L for 1.5 millihenry, and C for 10 microfarad. And the solid line on the on the box means that there are the Y connect each device already, but the the circuit is not complete yet, right? The the lower branch is follow from the source to the capacitor, where the top branch run from the source to resistor and then end at the inductor. Now we need to connect so that it make a RLC series circuit, which we will use in part one and part two. Right to make it a series circuit, we need to connect the end of L to the other end of C. Now we have a complete circuit, and this circuit will be the same as shown in this figure here. Is connect R to L, then to C, and then go back to the source. Next, we talk about digital multimeter here. We need to set it as the voltmeter measure in AC circuit. So, first we need to connect the cable to the port, let's say COM, which stands for common. You always plug this port, whatever type of meter you're gonna use. Next, you're gonna connect the Y to the other port that say V that the symbol for voltage now we are almost done here we need to turn the dial to the letter V that has a wavy line on the top that's for voltmeter for AC circuit where we with the straight line on top that is the voltage for DC circuit Right now we have the voltmeter to measure to measure in AC circuit. The last equipment is called the function generator. This device provides the voltage that can vary the frequency of the voltage itself. <coughs> so you connect the BNC cable to the connector from the function generator and then connect it to the box that has the symbol the circle with the wavy line all right now you power up the function generator <coughs> you're gonna see the display show that right now the frequency is 1.000 kilohertz that means right now the frequency of the voltage is fluctuate at 1000 Hertz the light on the top left is that the signal that come out is a sine wave you can you you can select between a sine wave a square wave or sawtooth but here we're gonna use the sine wave now you need to push the bottom that's say output on you're gonna see the green light turns on and then set the amplitude to the middle for the first part we will set the frequency to 100 hertz you may notice that right now the light for the key is turned off so that means the unit is hertz We set it to the 100 hertz. Now, we will measure the voltage across each um, element. <coughs> so, you plug the cable from the voltmeters to both ends of R for VR. And the value is 0 0.553 volt. Next, plug it across L 
and the value is 0 0.031 volt and the last one is we plug across C this is VC it is 1.757 volt so the last step is we're going to measure the voltage across all three devices or what we call VRLC so you can plug <coughs> between uh, point 1 and 12 and the value is 1.842 volt now you can put all this number and see if each voltage add as a vector or a scalar by comparing VRLC that you just measure 1.842 compare with the value from the equation vr square plus a uh, square root of vr square plus vl minus vc square and the other is you add vr plus vc plus vl which one is closer to this value 1.842 now for the second part we are gonna observe the resonant phenomena in RLC series circuit <coughs> but here we're not gonna measure Z or current I but we're gonna measure V across L and C so we call it VLC right and you plug 10 11 or 12 for the end for the C and the other end is 3, 4 or 5 which is considered the same point because the voltage is the same now we start from frequency equal to 700 and increase the frequency each step by 50 Hertz and then we can plot VLC versus frequencies all right so now for 700 hertz the vlc equal 0 0.254 next we increase to 750 hertz and the value for 7 50 Hertz is 0 0.223 and next 800 and the value is 0 0.196 next is 850 and the value is 0 0.170 next 900 and VLC is 0 0.147 now, for 950 the value is 0 0.126 and next is 1000 Hertz VLC is 0 0.108 Next is 1050 And the value is 0 0.090 Now 1100 The value is 0 0.075 1150s is 0 
the value is 0 0.053 1250 is 0 0.046 1300 VLC is 0 0.042 1350 0.045 1400 is 0 0.051 1450 the value is 0 0.061 1500 the value is 0 0.071 1600 0 0.093 1650 the value is 0.103 1700 The value is 0 0.114 And the last one, 1750 The value is 0 0.124 Then we will use this data set to plot between VLC and frequency to see uh, the graph what the graph will look like now on the last part we will connect the circuit in parallel between L and C so you can see that from the source connect to the resistor and then end at the pair uh, at the inductor for the lower line the, from the source it end at the capacitor to make an L and C parallel you connect one end the top uh, the bottom end of L and C connect together right you can connect between 7 11 or 7 and 10 is the same for the top you can connect between 3 4 5 and between um, and 6 and uh, sorry 8 and 9 so right now we have the RLC parallel circuit Again, we're gonna measure VLC. Sorry, we're gonna measure VLC as a function of frequency, and we can plug across C or across L because they are parallel. Now, again, we do the same procedure as in part two. We start from frequency seven hundred hertz and then increase each step by 5, uh, 50 hertz until the value is 1750 hertz and plot the graph between VLC and uh, versus uh, frequency now <coughs> for 700 VLC equal to 0 0.1 Five four and repeat the process similar to part two. When you get a graph, you can determine the resonant frequency by looking at the maximum or minimum of the graph and compare with the resonant frequency that you calculated.